Hello and welcome to another edition of Cine Speak. On today, South I am Anupam Sinha, and you are our dear subscribers. If you haven't subscribed as yet, please do because that just makes us connected. The movie I'm going to talk about today is Lucifer. It started streaming on Amazon Prime last night, and I finished watching that movie at exactly 2:58. It's a two hours 52 minutes long movie, so I just missed by six minutes. So the movie is absolutely fabulous. Pritha Sukumaran has done an excellent job. I think uh, first of all, I'm going to start off with the basic. The writing by Murali Gopi is amazing. The way that every character has been conceived, the way that the whole thing goes on and on and on, it is absolutely amazing. Every incident has some root in the psyche of that particular character. everything that a person does shows one or the other aspect of their personality and this is what is great about this movie. first off there is no other actor like lalit there is nobody who can compete with him for miles and you know why i'll tell you why first off look at the uh, emotional scenes that go into that movie i'll point out one particular scene in which he's talking to the father and the way he goes about talking about his alleged father he asks if uh, a certain character in the movie is indeed his father and then he says please don't answer it's an answer that is best not given and that particular moment if you look at the way lalitan wants to but doesn't want to know the answer knows the answer and yet is uncertain about the answer that amount of uncertainty that amount of uh, hesitation that he brings into that scene and yet hesitation is not something that his character knows his character doesn't know hesitation his character is a very straightforward guy who takes on problems who takes on issues headlong and still that vulnerability exists but somehow the other that has to be hidden and mohan lal does that master for so mohan lal's character stephen nedimpalli that character is absolutely mind blowing layered layer after layer after layer and initially uh, you think he's going in one direction but eventually when you come to the very fag end of the movie you realize oh my god i was deceived the all the time through so this is what the greatness of the script is but what about the direction the direction is absolutely tight there is not even a single scene in this movie that is wasted not a single frame of the movie has been wasted and that is good film making that's exactly what happened with shole in shole not a single frame was wasted and similarly right now if you look at this movie not a single frame is wasted now we come down to the actors we have already talked about mohan lal i'll go ahead and talk about the antagonist of the movie now oberoi does such a fabulous job he is absolutely ruthless he is manipulative he is charming to a certain extent but he is very arrogant at the other he looks like the lech that he is and yet he has that whole aura of being somebody in control although the fact remains he was never in control he was always just a puppet in the hands of the people around him and he thought he was the puppeteer and not the puppet that again another layer to this story i cannot give out too much of this movie because i don't want to give out all the fun about this movie but the way that it has been handled is amazing oberoi does an excellent job vivek oberoi finally proves that he is fit for the big leagues in this particular movie the way that he handles himself and he has started looking a lot like his father so uh, people like us who have seen his father in action uh, time and again we tend to have a very nostalgic feel about it now prithviraj sukumaran he does uh, an okay role because his role doesn't demand much he's just there for few action scenes action scenes which are absolutely fabulous i'll talk about the action scenes towards the end um, manju warrior conflicted strong yet weak independent yet dependent manju warrior is a multi-layered actress like uh, mohan lal is so 
for me watching manju do this particular role was amazing i saw manju a few days back in uh, odian as well and now watching her in this role it's absolutely amazing tovino thomas does an absolutely charming work tovino is the real charmer of the movie he does a role that makes you sit up and take notice i'll tell you i was impressed with sanya ayappan as well she did the role of janvi and this was one particular role that was very tough to do a woman a girl who is helpless and yet wants to escape everything that is around her but she can't escape physically she, she tries to escape in a different manner altogether and that is amazing again a character that was worth the story we come down to the action scenes mohan lal is jackie chan the way that he does action the flexibility that he has in his physique at this particular age the way that he is able to go from one action to another the way that he blocks something and then hits someone and the way that he has used his elbow very effectively in this particular action scene because i'll tell you if you have ever been in a real fight you realize that this is useless it's usually this elbow that makes you win the war and you see mohan lal using his elbow his knee all these things his shoulder these are all become weapons the real weapon is never the fist because if with fist the problem is you get hurt as badly as you hurt them with this the amount of hurt that you get is less the amount of hurt that they get is more and that you can see in every single action scene especially the action scene where you realize what he is capable of that one pivotal moment when you start realizing that yes he is the monster that uh, people are talking about that scene is amazing he takes on 10 20 guys and there's one scene in jail as well that uh, is absolutely spell binding when it comes down to action scenes so i'll say i give this movie an absolute 5 on 5 there has never been a movie like this in a very very long time i'll tell you we are very lucky to be living in this age movies like kgf are getting getting made movies like lucifer are getting made there are you know projects that are coming up right left and center i have sayer and arsim reddy which i am absolutely thrilled to wait for and these are all movies that you will get to see very soon or have seen in recently in the past so these movies are redefining the way indian cinema is being made i am absolutely thrilled i'll say go ahead watch this movie if you don't have an amazon prime subscription go ahead and take it i'll never ask you to do anything like this but take it it's worth it you'll watch this movie at least 5 times you'll get your money back just with this movie and don't forget amazon prime also has kgf so you can get your money back time over again my final analysis of the movie 5 upon 5 that's it i'll see you around with another review in a, in, a, in a very short time i'm reviewing uh, kaval udari uh, and uh, kaval udari will uh, get a uh, review right after this so don't go anywhere subscribe to the channel and watch all the reviews that you can thank you so much